One of the main things with Connect is opportunities for people to look behind the scenes. It's kind of about demystifying theatre to a certain extent, but also giving people opportunities to participate. One of the ways we're going to do this is something called This England, asking as many community groups as possible to take part in a free workshop with us. We've been working with the Connectors Cafe, which is a group that, that meet regularly at the Nuffield on a Thursday morning, and I've been working with them um, exploring some of Shakespeare's text. So we have taken the stimulus of a very famous patriotic speech from Shakespeare's Richard II and we have set a really interesting and fun workshop up around it. Our leader very cleverly drew us into uh, coming up with our own modern version of it. Of what we feel England is Today, we launched This England through our work with Bitten Park Sit Form School and the Open Stages group, The Maskers, and we put together a small performance from that workshop and performed it at the St George's Day event, which was at City College. Oh, it was really good, really exciting. I think it's the idea of taking something that lots of people will know from Shakespeare and then saying, but what does that really mean today? is a really good way to look at this. The RSC have got a national project which is called the Learning Performance Network and is about delivering Shakespeare more effectively in schools, getting Shakespeare on its feet as it is meant to be and learning about how he writes and what, what he writes about and why um, through performance. And we have been the regional partner with the RSC in Southampton and our hub school, Bitten Park, have uh, also been really heavily involved. And around that they have cluster schools and they all take part in a piece that was written especially for them. And Constantine is Henry IV, parts one and two, and Henry V in together. They have a big festival which is here and then this is honed down to a smaller selection which goes to the RSC in Stratford to perform in July. One of the things we do um, is something called The Company which is basically a fun drama group for adults. We come together uh, once a week for rehearsals and uh, every so often we put together plays and tonight uh, we did a version of Carol Churchill's Love and Information. We had this bright idea of taking it and doing it as a kind of promenade piece all around the Nuffield. So we were able to start off in the bar area, move through into Studio 2, up into the offices, around the foyer, and then end up on the main stage. The benefits of projects like The Company are huge to the people who take part. What we create is at the end is really our work, and we can really own it. That's the good part of it. I feel it really brings together interesting ways in which you do your theatrical pieces. They throw themselves in with such huge passion and I think they get a lot out of trying out different forms of theatre, exploring different worlds and uh, challenging their conceptions of what theatre can be. It's a real mix of people, it's all different ages, and different, everyone's different backgrounds, different jobs, all yeah, sorts different of cultures. <laughs> yeah. As part of Shared Experiences Tour of Mermaid, they have asked each theatre on the tour to get together a group of young women aged between 14 and 21 who will participate as part of the performances in that theatre. Well, in the story we are the uh, mermaids, so we're the sort of mini mermaids. Today we've been doing the technical rehearsal for Mermaid. Um, it's been sort of doing cues, lighting, uh, when we're meant to be singing our mermaid song. I've learned like how important the chorus can be, like how it changes the dynamic of a performance completely. Never really done anything that has a big chorus like this before. One of the big opportunities with something like this is to see how unglamorous theatre can be sometimes but also incredibly exciting and adrenaline filled. They, they get a, a sort of an unprecedented look at behind the scenes alongside working with an incredibly well-known company. Shed Experience has a really interesting um, kind of dynamic in particularly this um, show because it's very physical, it's very atmospheric, I mean the set is beautiful so it creates this really sort of spooky atmosphere. We provide training to those degrees or courses where people don't necessarily um, have a performing arts background but could do with the sorts of skills that are given to actors and creatives in theatre. The medical students that are here on campus get together, Max Lindsay trains them up, they put together a devised set of pieces that they've worked on and then they're assessed accordingly. We want people to feel as if 
the theatre is a comfortable place for them to be, a good place for them to be that holds really great memories and really great times for them and that it's more than just buying a ticket and sitting on a seat and watching a show. It's an opportunity with All Connect work uh, to engage with the theatre, to engage with the process of making theatre. And hopefully one day that will mean that that will engender a really strong civic pride and love of what Nuffield does and what it produces.